Imagine living in a world where you could fly. If that sounds fun to you, then get ready for a field trip because we re going to explore what would happen if gravity disappeared. As soon as gravity vanished, you wouldn't notice anything different. You wouldn't even feel anything at all. That's because you have no frame of reference. Gravity is a force that pulls objects towards each other. The strength of that pull depends on how massive the objects are and how far apart they are. We experience gravity every day, but it is really just the result of all the matter in the universe attracting all the other matter in the universe. You literally can't escape gravity. When gravity disappears, your body doesn't just magically start floating. That is because all the atoms within you are still attracted to each other and to all the atoms around you. They're also attracted to the Earth and everything else in the universe. But now that gravitational attraction is not strong enough to overcome the forces that hold you together, so instead of floating away into outer space, you'd simply collapse under the force of your own mass. Your molecules, which were once held together by chemical bonds, would come crashing down on one another. Atoms would slam into each other at incredibly high speeds and all the energy stored in their bonds would be released into the air as heat and light. In short, you'd basically explode, but even before you exploded, the rest of the world would begin to fall apart too. Without gravity, the Earth would stop being a planet and become a collection of loose rocks, and you wouldn't be alone in this fate. All the planets in the solar system would break apart as well, along with stars, galaxies, and black holes, but not everything would disintegrate. The sun and other stars are made of plasma, a superheated state of matter that's held together by magnetic fields rather than chemical bonds or gravity. So while the Earth might turn into a pile of rocks, the sun would continue on as a ball of plasma for millions more years. Eventually, though, the sun would run out of fuel and it, too, would collapse under its own mass, though it would probably end up as a white dwarf rather than a neutron star or a black hole. And if there were any planets left at that point, they'd probably just float off into deep space. But it's unlikely that any planets would remain because most planetary systems are held together by gravity. And without gravity, the planets would likely just drift apart. If you want to understand why gravity is so important, just think about what would happen if the sun suddenly lost its gravity. To demonstrate this, let's use a smaller star like our sun. Our star is surrounded by a giant cloud of gas and dust that makes up its atmosphere. It's kept in place by the star's powerful gravity, which keeps the atmosphere close to the stellar surface. The sun's gravity also keeps its atmosphere from escaping into space. But without gravity, the atmospheric gases would just float away into space, leaving behind a trail of dust and rock. The sun would look like a shriveled up raisin. And since the hydrogen in its atmosphere would escape, there would be no more hydrogen to fuse and no more energy production. Without gravity, the sun wouldn't even be a star anymore. It would just be a cold, dark, dead ball of rock. You might think that the sun would implode if its gravity disappeared, but that wouldn't happen either. That's because gravity is what keeps the sun from collapsing. When gravity disappears, the sun wouldn't collapse. It would just expand and its atmosphere would dissipate until it was nothing more than a cold, dead rock floating through the cosmos. And here's where things get weird. Gravity isn't the only force that keeps the sun together. It's also held in place by something called the electromagnetic force. This is the same force that keeps you glued to your chair right now. But the electromagnetic force is much stronger than gravity. So if gravity disappeared, the electromagnetic force would take over and hold the sun together. And here's where things get even weirder. The electromagnetic force is carried by photons. Photons are massless particles of light that travel at the speed of light. But photons are also waves, and all waves have a frequency and a wavelength. The wavelength is the distance between two wave crests and the frequency is the number of wave crests that pass a given point in one second. 
The electromagnetic force is determined by the frequency of the photons, and the higher the frequency, the stronger the force. Photons with very low frequencies, like radio waves, have very weak electromagnetic forces. But photons with high frequencies, like X-rays, have extremely strong electromagnetic forces. So, if gravity disappeared, the sun would still be held together by the electromagnetic force carried by photons. But those photons would have very high frequencies and their wavelengths would be extremely small. In other words, the sun would be squished. And here's where things get even weirder. The sun's core is where nuclear fusion occurs. That's the process that powers the sun and all other stars. But nuclear fusion requires extremely high temperatures and pressures. Those conditions only exist in the sun's core because of gravity. Without gravity, the sun's core would cool down and the nuclear fusion would stop. The sun would become a cold, dark, dead ball of rock floating through the cosmos. So it seems like gravity is pretty important for stars. But what about planets? Let's take Earth as an example. Without gravity, Earth would just rip itself apart. That's because the Earth's atmosphere would float away and the oceans would boil and evaporate. But what about the solid part of the planet? That's where things get weird. The Earth's crust is made up of rocks and minerals. These are all solids, but they're not rigid like a bowling ball. They're actually made up of molecules that can vibrate and move around. Gravity keeps them in place, but without gravity, they'd just move away from each other. The Earth's crust would turn into a giant cloud of dust and gas, but what about the Earth's core? It's incredibly hot and under enormous pressure, that's because of gravity. Without gravity, the Earth's core would cool down and solidify. The Earth would become a giant diamond, and here's where things get even weirder. Diamonds are the hardest substance in the universe. They're used in cutting tools and to scratch glass. But diamonds are also great at conducting electricity. In fact, some diamonds are used as semiconductors. That's because diamonds have a unique atomic structure. They're made up of carbon atoms arranged in a tetrahedral lattice. Each carbon atom is bonded to four of its neighbors. Those bonds create a strong, rigid structure that's also great at conducting electricity. If the Earth became a giant diamond, it would be incredibly hard and it would conduct electricity. But it would also be very brittle, a single wrong move and the entire planet could shatter. So it seems like gravity is pretty important for planets, too. But what about galaxies? Galaxies are huge collections of stars, dust and gas held together by gravity. Without gravity, they'd all just drift apart. Stars would no longer orbit around a galactic nucleus. Black holes would no longer exist at the center of galaxies. Entire galaxies would shatter into trillions of pieces. And then the universe would explode. That's because the Big Bang Theory tells us that the universe began with a hot, dense singularity. Then gravity caused that singularity to expand and collapse over and over again. Each collapse created new matter and new energy. That process is what led to the formation of the first stars, galaxies, and planets. Without gravity, the universe couldn't have formed. There would be no galaxies, no planets, no stars, no black holes, no you, no me, no nothing. Now I know what you're thinking. What if gravity didn't disappear completely? What if it got weaker? Well, luckily for us, scientists have already explored that possibility. In 2020, researchers at the University of Chicago published a paper in the journal Physical Review D that showed that if gravity became even slightly weaker, the entire universe would collapse. They concluded that gravity is responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe, which means that without gravity, the universe would contract and heat up to unimaginable temperatures before exploding in a fiery inferno. In short, gravity is essential to the universe. It's what allows stars to shine, planets to form, and galaxies to rotate. 
It's what gives us weight and keeps us grounded on Earth. It's what holds the universe together. But maybe don't thank gravity too much. After all, it's also responsible for all those pesky things that bring us down, like gravity, taxes, and bad hair days. But hey, at least we've got good news to lift us up. Thanks for watching.